Well, we've dealt with quite a few attorneys over the years, and it was important to us that we felt that we clicked with someone right away, and, um, and he really did make it pretty easy. When we finally got to come into the office, um, we, we liked him pretty much right away. It was intimidating with COVID because we were masked and pretty well isolated from everything, but his um, presentation was very thorough, easy to understand, and listed exactly what we would gain or perhaps he would prevent us from making an error by not investing our, um, our funds um, the easiest way and the safest way. Uh, well, it's a, it does require a yearly fee, which is expected, um, but it's no different than having a retainer with an attorney any place else. Um, when we call here, someone is here for us. Uh, may not be immediately, uh, but I'd say we get a return call within at least a couple of hours and we get an appointment. And like I said, we're only five minutes from here, so it makes it very convenient for us to come down and meet with someone if we have to. The retaining fee was something that made me pause because, you know, it's, it's rather expensive. And, you know, we, what it gets is their attention if we need something, and that, that matters. It gets us immediate access. Yeah. I, I'll put it immediate because you may call some other offices and they'll go, oh, well, we can see you in two or three weeks, but, um, and we're not two or three minute people. So we appreciate two or three hours. It's great. Well, one thing we liked about Jeff being an elder law attorney, that was his focus. And that's what we needed at the time. We need somebody that was focused on what we wanted to do and not necessarily every aspect of law. Um, so we appreciate it that he not only has the elder law part, but he also has the tax knowledge to go along with, okay, this is how we're gonna plan your money, and here's what you need to do so that you're following the tax laws, which we appreciate it. Well, uh, it's very, I don't know if I like the word comforting, but to be able to come in, especially when we started with him, he was here and we were able to you know, voice what we wanted to do, what we wanted to accomplish with the owner of the firm. Not that his people were not uh, as well versed. Uh, it was just comforting because we, we had a lot of stuff accumulated over the years. Um, and it, he seemed to understand a lot of that because he's dealing in a very specific part of the law which is changing, um, especially the tax part. One year you're okay with this and the next year you're not and seems to be very well versed on that. I think anyone who hasn't considered their estate, they really should. And whether or not it's Jeff or not, we would recommend him, but you really should look at what you'll have, your family will have to deal with when you die. And every one of us is gonna do that. Yeah. Uh, the, um, I hear a lot of people, well, I tell some of my friends about uh, what we did and they're like, whoa, I, we don't really understand that. And I'm like, well, if you haven't g gone through this process, even though you may not set up a trust, um, it's not a bad idea to talk to someone like Jeff that's dealing in elder care and get their advice. Uh, we didn't think we needed it, but after sitting with him for a couple sessions, uh, we decided this is something that we need to do to protect our assets and, and get some real advice. Um, quite frankly, we didn't understand revocable and irrevocable trusts. 
and he took us through the steps and this is what you can expect with revocable this is what you can re expect with irrevocable um, this is what you can do um, I think the biggest thing for me was that I did not understand how much or how little I could be in control turned out that uh, we're in control of a lot of it um, well, as, as I said we talked to our friends and they didn't understand um, and we had just enough knowledge to be dangerous uh, and say you know you, you really need to talk to someone not just us but you need to talk to an elder care attorney so you can understand uh, the differences and and what you can expect and that you're not out of control of your finances, your property, all of your assets.